Power bay time. Big box in here, this is going to be interesting. I'm not sure what these are yet, we'll find out. This will be protected. There's three of them. So this was shown to me by someone at an event. And they actually have one of these things. It looks like a set of headphones, but actually it's not headphones, all right? It's not headphones. You put this around your neck, and it's got some fans in here, and it blows air out of these channels here onto your neck. And it helps to keep you cool. And it actually worked quite well. There's a thing to do. So you've got a couple of fans, and there's air blowing out here. You can probably be even here. Three. Three speeds. Quite a neck fan. It's got little lithium cells in them and you just recharge them. USB-C charger on here somewhere. There we go, there's a charge point. I think it's supposed to last about 4 hours or something. Between 3 and 18 hours depending on what speed you set it to and charging between 3 and 4 hours. Which would be good for summer. Show me some almost over. Took a couple of months to arrive. Next thing. Alright. Oh, this is some more air conditioning type stuff for automotive stuff. So you've got an injector here for injecting oils or uh, dyes into um, the system. So you hook this up into there so you can inject it in through the low pressure side port. Air conditioning repair tools apparently. So we've got 2.5mm of whatever that is, 30mm of whatever that is, 21mm LED, something on UV. So we've got dye, that's right. So but dyes and oils, I think, something like that. UV for essing. I'm guessing this is a torch. It is, it's another UV torch. Oh, no batteries, it got ripped off. <laughs> um, I've already got UV torches, I don't actually really need this one, but I've got other ones. Let me get one out, we'll see if these things for us. Alright, got a UV torch here. So this is just an oil, I think. These are indeed for essing. So, yep, yeah, those are the dyes which you would inject in. If you want to check your system for leaks, and there's a little cloth. Um, but obviously, you need to get stuff in there, which is what this is for. So I'd got all this air conditioning stuff, thinking of my car initially with this AC system, because I was getting some errors on it. I've mentioned this many, many times now, in my bags are these bits and pieces I've been getting. I actually did top up the air conditioning system a little bit. I put a little bit of refrigerant back into it, because it may have been a bit low. It turns out that wasn't actually what the issue was, but you know, I did it. So I've now got this selection of air con repair and maintenance type stuff. Um, the only thing I haven't got is the vacuum pump for sucking the system out. I did buy one, but the seller wanted to charge me a lot more for shipping. So I already paid its own cost in shipping, basically doubled the price, and then I wanted some more. It's not really worth that much money to me. And by then, I already figured out the AC system itself was okay, so I didn't really need to work on my system now. Um, all these things I bought a little while ago and they've all just kind of taken a while to turn up. I know, actually, I don't need the back the system out and work on it, although it would be nice to have the pump, so if I do need to do that in the future, when I do want to top up the system, I need to make sure I put the right amount of refrigerant into it and stuff like that. The price is going to be ridiculous. The pump was $150. I paid $150 in shipping. This is from AliExpress, not eBay, by the way. And then the seller said, oh, it's extra fees, so, you know, it's going to cost it whatever it was more. I'm not going to pay that. I can get it probably less than that locally so no nah, I've got a refund for it so yeah it's the only thing I think I don't have is that pump um, so I'm gonna have to get one I think I may never use any of this stuff but it's been plenty of times in the past so I wish I had it we get a lot of test gear recently to fix I've got about I think nine items now something like that and um, do a bunch of videos on those They're interested in electronic repair and test equipment repair especially make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribe Vacuum pump oil, right. So I purchased these to go with the vacuum pump which I purchased, which I mentioned just now, which has now been cancelled. So I've got vacuum pump oil, no vacuum pump. Hmm. I have to get one now. I have to. Right, so it's in a big box. Oh, plenty of padding. This looks promising. Oh, I didn't know we got peanuts. <laughs> I'm to go off camera. Yep. 
another box or the box pile. My wife will be pleased. Right, and this is what's in it. It's 150B microvolt M eater. No idea what I'm going to use it for. Uh, could be handy. <laughs> I saw it come up on a local auction site and I thought that would be potentially a good piece of gear to have. Yes, yeah, microvolt M eater. I don't know what it does. Anyway, got special plugs here, which luckily are still with it. Got this other one here. This is a cable for the back. So we've got an input cable for the front, input cable for the back. This is this kind of plug and it goes to a BNC on the back there. I think it's BNC, not Triax, yep. This other cable here. So again, two pin, but it comes out to this little flying lead thing here instead for doing hookups, which is interesting. Input resistance, is it? Volts, input, open, 100k at least. Amps, got no idea what this is. How to use it, this looked pretty cool. And I thought it was Keefley, couldn't go wrong. So we've got mini volts and micro amps. And you've got micro volts and nano amps. That sounds interesting, doesn't it? Zero suppress. I've got no idea what this does. Multi turn pot there. So it'll cause some fine off. AC off. Battery. It's got a paternal battery. Battery test, which is a sprung switch. Filter in and out. It's looking a little bit foggy in here. Which is interesting. All right, rear panel. It's a cable holder thing there attached to the back. Voltage selection. We've got two outputs here, one volt output and 100 millivolt output. 100 millivolt adjustment. We've got two fuse holders. We've got synchronizing ports. We've got a ground and a low here, which is interesting. Department of Scientific and Industrial Research. Feet are all intact. Chassis does not look bent. Seems to sit properly. It's got his own plug on it, it's been used locally. This is used in New Zealand, so I found it in a local site, as I said. This is really interesting. So it looks like this can do, obviously nulling, it's got a null meter affection, effectively, because it's plus and minus. 1000 millivolts, or 1000 microamps. So you got that into 0.3 nanoamps, or microvolts. That sounds pretty sensitive, doesn't it? That's probably why you've got this special cable whenever it goes on this thing. I don't know what this is, I might have to read the manual. I don't actually know what this is too much. I just saw Keefley and this naming on here, I thought it was branding. I thought that looks like an interesting piece of gear and the price was right, so I grabbed it. I'll be doing a video on it once I actually figure out what it is. I've got nothing that can go down this low, this accurate, I don't think. Obviously it's old, but it's a Keefley, so Keefley made good gear back in the day. So this switch feels beautiful, it's a really nice switch. Hopefully meter's not stuck. No, needle moves, so that's all good. I don't know if it does AC as well, it only does DC or what, I'm not sure actually. Definitely got to read the manual. So check out videos down below for things to watch. One of those things is probably be a playlist about my test equipment repairs, go and check those out. This will eventually appear in those lists um, once I do the video for it and figure out how to use it. There's a subscribe link right over here, click on that and get a bell icon as well, click on that, make sure you get notified. And Patreon support link over here, if you want to help support the channel, help me to buy a better test gear like this to do videos about. Yeah, I don't know exactly what I do yet. Bye.